We're really lucky to live in our universe with our particular laws of physics. At least, that's what we keep telling ourselves. The laws of physics can be cruel and unforgiving. And should you try and cross them, they will crush you like a bug. Well, here at Universe Today, we embrace our physics overlords and prefer to focus on the positive. The fact that light travels at the speed of light is really helpful. And this allows us to look backwards in time as we look further out. Billions of light years away, we can see what the universe looked like billions of years ago. Physics is good. Physics knows what's best. Thanks, physics. But where the hand of physics gives can also take away. There are some parts of the universe that we'll never, ever be able to see. No matter what we do, they'll always remain just out of reach. No matter how much we plead in some sort of Kafkaesque nightmare, these rules do not appear to have conscience or room for appeal. As we look outward in the cosmos, we look backwards in time, and at the very edge of our vision is the cosmic microwave background radiation. The point after the Big Bang, where everything had cooled down enough so that it was no longer opaque. Light could finally escape and travel through a transparent universe. And this happened about 300,000 years after the Big Bang. What happened before that is a mystery. But we can calculate what the universe was like, but we can't actually look at it. Well, possibly we don't have the right clearance levels. On the other end of the timeline, in the distant, distant future, assuming humans or our Terry Gilliam inspired robot bodies are still around to observe the universe, there will be a lot less to see. Distance is also out to rain on our sightseeing safari. The expansion of the universe is accelerating, and galaxies are speeding away from each other faster and faster. And eventually, they'll be moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And when that happens, we'll see the last few photons from those distant galaxies redshifted into oblivion. And then we won't see any galaxies at all. Their light will never reach us, and our skies will be eerily empty. So just don't let physics hear a sad tone in your voice. We don't want to spend another night in the joy re-education camps. Currently, we can see a sphere of the universe that measures 92 billion light years across. Outside that sphere is more universe, a hidden, censored universe. A universe that we can't see because the light hasn't reached us yet. But fortunately, every year that goes by, a little less universe is redacted from the record, and the sphere we can observe gets bigger by one light year, and we can see a little more in all directions. Finally, let's consider what's inside the event horizon of a black hole. A place that you can't look at because the gravity is so strong that light itself can never escape it. So by definition, you can't see what absorbs all its own light. Astronomers don't know if black holes crunch down to a physical sphere and stop shrinking, or if they continue shrinking forever just getting smaller and smaller and smaller into infinity. And clearly, we can't look there because we shouldn't be looking there. The terrible places, the possibility of shrinking forever, gives me the heebies. And so good news, the chocolate ration has been increased from 40 grams to 25 grams. And our physics overlords are good and can only do good and always know what's best for us. In fact, so good that gravity might actually provide us with a tool to see these hidden places, but only because they want us to. When black holes form, or massive objects smash into each other, or there are big bangs, these generate distortions in space-time called gravitational waves. The gravity itself, these propagate across the universe and could be detected. It's possible we could use gravitational waves to see beyond the event horizon of a black hole, or past the cosmic microwave background radiation. The problem is that gravitational waves are so faint, we haven't even detected a single one yet. But that's probably just a technology problem. In the end, we need a more sensitive observatory, and we'll get there. Alternatively, 
we could apply to the Laws of Physics Board of Appeals and fill in one of their 2,500 page application forms in triplicate and see if we can be granted a rules exception or maybe just get a tiny little peek behind that veil. We live in an amazing universe, most of which we'll never be able to see. That's okay. There's enough we can see to keep us busy until infinity. So what law of physics would you like to be granted a special exception to ignore? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Peter Price and the rest of the members who support us in our quest to make great space and astronomy content every week. Our community members get advance access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. So if you want to get in on the action, click here. All hail our physics overlords. All hail All physics. All hail physics. Physics is just. 140. We promise shenanigans.